Hi, this is Barbara Dam, the unconventional clinician. And today I want to give you a little bit more unconventional thoughts about stuttering. The subject of today's video is your identity as a person who stutters. I know a lot of you feel that this is who you are. You get up in the morning and you say, I'm going to have difficulty speaking. It's going to be a hard speech day. And you identify yourself as a person who's going to have difficulty. Now, what is identity? It's based on the past. It's based on your past experiences and the beliefs you have developed over time. And the truth is that anybody who has developed an identity can redevelop an identity because we have our thoughts and our experiences. Now, I'm not saying that it is bad to stutter at all. Not at all. Stuttering is really nothing more than the way the speech comes out when you're using your speech production process in a way that interferes with the fluency. That's what it is. It doesn't say anything about your character, doesn't say anything about your emotional state, your capabilities, your intelligence, nothing. And it shouldn't be something to feel ashamed of or embarrassed about because it's just the way the speech is. Okay. The only reason why I have dedicated my career to working with people who stutter is because talking is an important part of our life. It is the way we bond with people. It is the way we get our thoughts across to people. It's the way we connect. And when we have difficulty doing it, it's frustrating. I don't want you to be frustrated. I don't want you to have to wake up in the morning and worry about whether you're going to be able to say something or not. So because of this, I don't want you to limit yourself by locking yourself into the identity of a person who stutters. Instead, think of yourself as a person who sometimes interferes with the normal process of speaking. Okay. So, and realize that that isn't the only part of you, but it's the part you've been focusing on the most. How about also focusing on all the times that you were fluent, all the times that you spoke without any issue? Maybe it was in an aside as you were trying to say something to somebody and you just thought to yourself, oh, this isn't working, and you said that aloud. Or maybe it's when you were singing. Or maybe it's when you were talking to a pet or a baby or reading in choral with other people. It could be any of that, but there are times that you have been fluent. So how about focusing on that for a change instead of only remembering the times that you had difficulty speaking or thinking of the fears and the hesitations when you start looking at stuttering in a different way, there is so much that you can do to make it easier for yourself. No, not by trying to be fluent. We know that doesn't work. But by becoming aware of your thoughts, becoming aware of your reactions, becoming aware of what's going on inside of you. And when you become aware, there's so many changes that you can make. The possibilities are really limitless. 
I have a program that I have developed to show you all of this. It's called From Stuttering to Speaking Freely. And that's just what it is. It's about speaking freely, not fluently, although fluency can be a byproduct, but it's the freedom to say what you want to say, when you want to say it, and not be worried about it. It's not identifying as a person who has to have difficulty. Although you might say that I'm a person who sometimes has difficulty, but you can change that. It's all changeable. So if you're interested in helping yourself, if you're interested in seeing all that can be done so that speaking is easier for you, then click on the link below and join from stuttering to speaking freely. It's really going to hit all of the points that are so important, be they habit, the cognitive issues that we face, the neurophysiological parts of speaking. And I keep saying, seeing again and again that all of the current research supports all of the processes that I show you in this course. So, give yourself a chance. Don't lock yourself into one way of thinking. There's so much out there and it's all there for you.